Well, today we're going to compare the, the brand new Mono M80 dual electric guitar case gig bag along with um, its predecessor, my beloved Fender dual guitar case bag that I've been toting off and on for, oh man, five, six, seven years. I've got a lot of miles out of this case. Now, honestly, this is not my primary case for my instruments. This is a, a go-to bag for um, shows where I feel like I'm going to be uh, a good ways from where I park, basically. Um, they're very similar. Uh, there's a lot of difference in prices between the two gig bags. Um, but they're very similar. Uh, this, of course, has the backpack straps. Um, you can see they're, they're very sturdy handles. Uh, this is just a padlock. I've had it on there for years. Couldn't tell you why. Uh, great handle. You'll use this a lot more than you think you will. Uh, the latches, everything has held up for a long time. And it, it's a variety of different types of guitars in there. Now, this does have the, the old handles where you, you know, you put the two together. The Velcro still has held together nicely. It's got multi-pockets. And I'll be honest with you, these things expand lovely. I've had a lot of things in here. You've got, let's, let's see, you've got a total of, this is a deep pocket here, and I've emptied this for this demo. You've got a very deep pocket, and then you have a smaller pocket lining here, which is very deep as well. See? Nice little feature here, it's got a guitar shaped pick zipper. See that? Cool. So that's two pockets there. Then yet a third pocket here for tools. And, you know, whatever that is, trash. Picked up from the road, man. And then lastly, but not least, uh, yet another pocket on the outside for smaller items, you know. So you got one, two, three, four separated pockets. And believe it or not, that's a lot of features. That's a gig bag by itself right there. If you can see that. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of extras. I took, uh, a lot of stuff when I play. Way more than, you know, an average person with much more talent than me totes, but uh, I do. I tote a lot of stuff. Uh, you just, once you get away from your home or whatever, you know, in your own rural area and things are closed, you just can't find what you're looking for. Another pocket here. Uh, got something in there. Look at that. Cool little red guitar pick. Anything else in there? No. No. And then yet another pocket here. Now, what's great about this particular pocket? It's great for microphones. It is the perfect shape for microphones. So, technically speaking, you have your gig bag for your personal items, your storage for your microphone, small items, guitar picks, business cards, whatnot. You do have a great handle here. You got a cool little latch here if you wanted to hook your belt or some other kind of apparatus there. And then you have your shoulder straps. And then you have your, your handle here. If you'll open this thing up, you're going to see a very similar design to the ooh, more expensive brand new up-to-date case. Look at this. As you can see in there, it's kind of dark. It's all black. you got good padding for your guitar headstock. And you notice that this one is a little beat up and weathered because of what? That's right. Guitar strings. We'll cut that fabric really quickly. And then, of course, a little extra protection here. And if you'll notice, very similar, you've got a, uh, a bumper all the way around. And then it's separated here, very smallly, but smallly. There's a very small gap in between there for your strap lock, or strap pin. And then of course, you've got a dual bag. Same exact features as the other one. Uh, will this have as much protection as this other one? You're going to have to compare both of them, apples for apples. I'm not going to knock Mono, and I'm not going to knock Fender. Both of them guys, are, are, are the, both of these companies are making great items. It's just what your budget will allow you to have. And uh, I've had this one for years, and I don't know what the price of, of, of it is now, but I'm going to tell you it's a long way from that. And, uh, I've coated this guitar. Guitar is in this bag. This bag, bag for use. Again, this is not a primary gig bag for me. This is uh, strictly for the shows. 
you throw it in, throw it in the truck with the, or your gear with the rest of the stuff. It's not a great travel bag, and it's not a great, like, uh, you know, it does lack some of that stuff. So the big feature I love about this one compared to this one, I can already tell by looking at it, is they both unzip the same way. While that sounds like a great thing, you know, I'm one of these guys who unzip it about that far, slip a guitar in there, zip it up and go. I got two zip, 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 pop, 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 let's go. You know, you're, you're trying to you're trying to roll up, stuff your gear in the dark. Uh, it's a very quick, easy way to throw your stuff in there. Again, you know, you think about your protection. I'm not saying which one you should get. I'm not saying which one's better. I mean, quality-wise, you can look at the difference and you can tell, you know, first observation, you can tell the difference in the quality. But, you know, that's a, that's a big plus for me because you just unzip, pop, 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 throw the guitars in and go, and they fall into place. That being said, uh, there's no reason to put a guitar on this one. But let's look at this one. If you watch the other unwrapping video, y'all you'll notice I just got this one off the UPS truck. Let me smell. Uh-huh. Smells like a brand new piece of gear. Again, this one unzips, you know, from the top on both guitars, but a little different. This guitar is going to go in here, and of course, you've got this Velcro, which sounds good in theory, that keeps the head stuck. Off. This has got to be, to some degree, a little bit more protection. Uh, but again, the colors and all make it a little bit easier to see compared to the other one because of the, uh, you know, I didn't have a guitar in there. Quality-wise, this does feel thicker. You do have the same type of lining protection uh, and the neck, supposedly, now is no longer an issue. And again, we're not taking these off until I know for sure uh, that I'm going to keep it. Because let's face it, uh, the great thing about buying from certain places like Guitar Center, if you're not happy, you have so long to bring it back. So we're bringing it back, looking at it, taking it, taking it for a test run, looking at all the features, and seeing if it's worth the price tag. I won't even tell you if I take it back or not, but I might if you email me. Little secret pocket right here. Um, the other one doesn't have a little secret pocket, uh, but it did have the same features. Uh, you place for your keys, which I couldn't use. I would probably throw a cell phone up here. Um, identification card or business cards, whatnot, pins. For your autograph hounds out there, I'll show you how them. You know, have one somewhere that wants an autograph somewhere. Now, let's take this Telecaster out. This is my 95, by the way. Isn't it beautiful? Antique white. It's hard to find this color. Wasn't a big seller to some people. Some people don't like it. I think a rosewood neck would look better on it personally, but uh, a lot of miles on that guitar too. A lot of miles in that other case I just showed you. All right, we're gonna set that right there. We don't want that guitar to fall. Now, again, one of the big plus things about the other case, um, make sure I got the right zipper. Oh. Um, one of the good things about the other case that I like is it, it you know, it kind of goes in where you can actually stand the case up, put the guitars in, and zip it. This bag is kind of like a hard case. You're going to set it on the floor, and you're going to put them in. Uh, for those people who are not as lazy as me, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, for people who are as lazy as me, zip, drop, 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 let's go. You know, if you're in the dark, easy is better. Again... You know, you have a, pretty much the identical case on the other side, the same thing. Let's see what the telly looks like in the back side. Yep. Looks quite, quite the same, doesn't it? And it goes right in there right there. All right, so we're going to put that over here, put my telly over here. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. The, the best part about the case is the fact that it's waterproof. I think, I think that's, I read that on there, it's waterproof. Water resistant. I wouldn't go drop the sucker in my pool because I mean, how, how waterproof can zippers be? But they say it is waterproof to a certain degree. Let me see if it's on the back. I don't want to miss this quoted. Okay, it, it doesn't say. So let's, let's scratch that. 
Um, it doesn't really say it's waterproof, so please consult the folks at Mono before you go throw this thing in the, the river or the ocean. <clears throat> let's talk about the pocket. The pocket's deep, the pocket's pretty cool, but let's face it, the pocket's just a pocket. Uh, that's the, the biggest lacking on this, this thing. Uh, if you're like me and you tote a bunch of stuff, you're going to be limited to what you can tote. This does not expand quite like the other one does. Um, this little, this thing right here for your cable, I mean, okay. You know, if you're like me, you've got a guitar cable or two, uh, cords, pedals, cables for your pedals, picks, capos. You're going to have a bunch of crap piled in this, this pocket. That's my biggest problem with this case. You, you're going to give up a lot of a lot of floor space for protection which you know that may not be a big deal for you may may not be i do like the one handle that you don't have to flims over it does have the backpack the only difference is this one has a nice place to tuck it if you don't need it um and once you pull it out uh, you know you put the tie downs i mean the not the you put the, the strap you hook them on there and you go and if you don't need it then you you fold it back up you know, you can also probably use this as a pocket. You know, it does have the hook for the additional, uh, what they call the tick, mono tick hooks on here. Uh, and then, uh, oh, is it on the back side? Or does it have it on there? Okay, there you go there. Guitar tick. And I don't know where the other hooks go. I guess they're covered up. Yeah, there they are. I covered up. Can you see that? Down there. So you got that, you got that, and you hook it here, and therefore you have another, you know, another pocket for accessories. Uh, another pocket is going to cost you about 80 bucks. So, you know, it's a good bag. Um, I'll let you com I'll let you compare apples for apples and, and see if, you know if it's worth the extra money. I'm not saying whether I keep in the bag or not. I'm just showing you both of them. They're both good products. Certainly, this one's going to give you more protection uh, as opposed to the other one. That's probably your number one priority. Um, my biggest beef is that they don't open from the top, and uh, perhaps that's that's the feature that makes the other one uh, more protection. I don't know. I'm just giving you the, what I've discovered in the the ten minutes I've owned the case let you go from there. Until then, good luck on your quest for tone. Peace. Please subscribe.